Welcome back to Score Golf. In this next segment, we'll show you, whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> well, Gina, I've been watching the show lately, mm -hmm. and I just think that our alignment's been a little bit off, so I thought I'd use this handy aid to sort of straighten us out. Uh, okay, but that's a driveway marker. Yes, it is a driveway marker. Driveway marker is a fantastic training aid in golf. Yeah, but wouldn't it look a little bit more sophisticated than this? Yeah, there are some more sophisticated training aids in the golf world. Don't you worry, Gina. Watch this. When we think of training aids, we tend to think of late night infomercials and pulling out the credit card to make an impulse buy. Well, infomercials aren't as prevalent as they once were, and with technology such as TrackMan, FlightScope, and other data tracking software becoming commonplace, the training aid world is becoming marginalized in the minds of some. It shouldn't. TrackMan might provide you with every number you need to know about your golf swing and ball flight, but it's not going to help you create the numbers that are most desirable. For that, you need to see a qualified PGA teaching professional, most of whom use training aids during lessons. There's certain training aids that have been effective for curing over the top moves or helping people get their eyes over the ball for putting or something as simple as starting the golf ball online. You know, and those things are never going to go away because those are core fundamentals of playing consistent golf. One of Mucklow's favorite devices is the brainchild of fellow Canadian and now U.S. resident Martin Chuck. Chuck, who once worked at the National Golf Club of Canada and was mentored by late Canadian greats George Newton, Ben Kern and Mo Norman, invented the Tour Striker, which has become a hugely successful product. The Tour Striker was a kind of a brainchild of mine in um, around 2006. And I came home one day and said to my wife Stacy, I said, you know, I think I got a really good idea that can inspire golfers to have a little bit of different feeling on how they use the golf club. And she's like, go for it. So then we, you know, found an attorney, made sure we weren't infringing on anybody and developed this golf club. We've sold 150,000 of these around the world. Tour Striker helps golfers achieve proper impact position through a shallow angle of attack with forward shaft lean. It does so because Chuck elevated its leading edge, meaning golfers can't rely on it to lift the ball up in the air. Chuck had his first Tour Striker created by 2008 and came to the PGA show for the first time in 2009. Feedback from teaching pros at the show was tremendous, and now Chuck has seven products in the Tour Striker line, including the Smart Ball. That teaches better control of your arms and wrist conditions, which Chuck says will help you control how your body reacts to the ground. A ball being placed between arms has been around forever. What I did differently was make it inflatable so it weighed little and it didn't affect your swing and your rhythm of your swing. And then we made a necklace, an adjustable that went over your head so you could just adjust it for different body types to get it in the right location. But you know, just above your wrist below your elbows. Another simple yet very effective product is the Orange Whip Trainer. It was created by teaching professional and former PGA Tour caddy Jim Hackenberg. He found that most of his students swung with too much tension and tightness compared to the flowing motion of Tour pros. I started to notice how unbelievable their rhythm was. It was just tremendous. And I started seeing the golf swing differently. To me it looked as if it was, instead of a golf club, they were swinging a ball on the end of a chain. And the only way you can swing a ball on the end of a chain is to get your hands, arms, and body all to flow together. So Hackenberg set out to replicate that, beginning literally with a ball on the end of a chain. He quickly found that to be too heavy and too dangerous, so he tried a fishing rod. And then he experimented with counterbalanced weighting in the grip. Eventually, Hackenberg created something that worked and brought his product to market in 2008. The Orange Whip is effective as a warm-up tool to get your body loose, but its main purpose is to help you find your timing and develop a smooth motion before starting to hit your golf clubs. And if you're wondering where Hackenberg came up with his product's name, well, there's a great story beyond the fact that the ball on the end of the shaft is about the same size as an orange. But the actual name comes from uh, the movie The Blues Brothers. There's a scene at the very end where John Candy's about to arrest the Blues Brothers and they're sitting at the bar and uh, the waitress goes, can I get you a drink? And he points to one of the police with him and he goes, orange whip, orange whip, three orange whips. And uh, it's a wonderful line and it, it's always stuck with me from that movie and I, I knew this was going to be orange and it's a whipping motion, so it's the perfect fit. A behemoth in the training world these days is Eyeline Golf. Sam Froggett founded Eyeline 15 years ago when he was trying to play his way onto the PGA Tour champion circuit. His ball striking at the time was good enough. His putting, however, was not. We needed some things to work with on putting in particular, and they weren't out there. So uh, the first product was a mirror that originally literally was a mirror. 
which is dangerous. <laughs> and I thought, there's got to be a better way. And so we created our first product we call the Island. Now we call it the Island Classic Mirror. That's how we got started. 13 years later, 14 years later, gosh, I think at the show we've introduced our 80th product. Most of the aids are conjured by Froggett and his team, though some are concepts conceived by teaching pros who need eyeline to bring their ideas to the finish line. Almost all of them center on putting, and most importantly, none will break your bank or leave you scratching your head as to how the product works. We're all about simplicity and we're all about um, affordable products. You won't see anything here that's very complicated, uh, no bells and whistles. They're, they're, I can throw it down the green and I can get to work and hopefully I understand what it is before we get going. So that's, that's where we live. Touring pros around the world now use eyeline mirrors, though Froggett himself never did wind up on the senior circuit. Why? I kind of got busy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are just a few of the many training aids on the market, but a trip to your local hardware store can also be a great way to help your game. Things like driveway markers and meter sticks are simple and inexpensive tools that can help your game if used correctly. And that is the most important thing when it comes to any training aid.